the Yeti. An English explorer was taking part in an expedition to the Himalayas. Led by a local guide, they ascended one of the less climbed peaks, roughly halfway up the side of the mountain. One of the expeditions came across a set of large man-like tracks in the snow. Yeti tracks, the guide said with a gruff voice, and he passed them. One thing you must know before we proceed. Do not, under any circumstances, touch the Yeti. The expedition heeded his warning and continued to climb the slope. Night fell and the explorers set up their tents in the dead of night. The Englishman awoke to the sound of his tent unzipping. Half asleep, he looked up to see an enormous yeti standing above him. In fear for his life, the explorer jumped up and ran out of the tent. Banging into the yeti in the process, the yeti, after being touched by the explorer, let out a howl and began to chase the explorer down the slope. The explorer ran away from the camp as quickly as his legs could take him. After he rounded a corner, he looked behind him to see the yeti still chasing him. So the explorer continued to run, reaching the bottom of the mountain. In just two days, exhausted, he paused to rest a while. After just a few moments, the explorer began to hear the soft thud, thud, thud of yeti feet on the snow. He looked up the slope to see the yeti still chasing him and the only moments away. The explorer took off again, reaching a supply shack a couple miles away. Once there, quickly buying a mountain bike and pedaling his way to the nearest town, some 50 miles away. The journey took him several days. Two days later, the man left his hotel to see about booking transport back to England. As soon as he turned around, he saw a form of the Yeti on the horizon bounding towards him at great speed. Mortified by this sight, the explorer hurriedly bought a car and drove it away from the village all the way to Delhi. Once he arrived, the man wasted no time in getting onto the next plane to London. After his arrival back into London, the man went back to his London home for a while, recover and plan his next expedition. He had been there less than two weeks and was gazing out of a window when he saw a familiar, large, bounding, man-like creature running down his street. 
the man couldn't believe it. The Yeti had followed him to England. The man had little choice but to run away again. He used any means he could: bike, car, or on foot, to try to escape the Yeti. But each time he looked behind him, it was a moment before the Yeti came into view. Eventually, the man made it all the way to Edinburgh, and from there ran into the open Scottish countryside. He continued to run, but the Yeti just kept getting closer and closer. And in the end, the man could run no more. With the Yeti less than a minute away from him. The man finally stopped it and turned around to face the oncoming creature. With the last of his strength, he stood up straight as the yeti caught up with him. The eight-foot-tall yeti towered above the man, who could only stare in the terror. The yeti extended his hand and poked with one long finger. Into the Englishman's chest, and the Yeti began to speak. Tag, you're it.